Hey Virgo, so looks like somebody's going to take a chance and give you a call, ask you out, meet for coffee or a date. Very interesting. All right, let's get into this reading. So if you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and do subscribe. We're going to take a look at your weekly reading ahead. I already pulled some cards, so we'll get into this. Don't forget, you can join and become a member of my channel. Only $2.99 per month. Personal reading link is in the description box below. So we have Valentine's week coming up. So happy Valentine's to everyone. So Virgo, let me just start, okay? You definitely have someone who is making a decision to try one more time. This is what I'm hearing. It's either try one more time, this person, or somebody here was very avoidant, emotionally avoidant, not trying, you know, like kind of fear of change, fear of loss, so avoiding romance, avoiding some type of intimate connection could be you could be another person you do have libra here but i feel like there is a person showing up this week who you know there's going to be a love call expressing their love a message of love thinking of you letting you know i feel like it's you know it's it's valentine's week as far as i'm concerned <laughs> you know what i mean it's valentine's week whether it happens on the actual day the day after the day before it's definitely a love and a love thing with the hand of cards this is a risk Someone's taking a risk here, okay? And um, yeah, I feel like they're gaining some confidence to either ask you out or to try to go at this one more time. Okay, so the magician in the reverse. A little bit of manipulation happening here. All right. Um, I feel like somebody perhaps might have been very low in confidence but are gaining their confidence. So yeah, that's what they're telling me. So whoever, whoever the person is, okay? And we'll get into that. We'll figure out who this person is who's reaching out to you. Um, I feel like this person, their old ways, old tactics, old ways were to be, because they were very insecure and lacked confidence, they were more manipulative. Okay? But something here is shifting. Something here is changing. And I actually want to find out what is like making this change. Okay? Because this person is definitely... Um, they're planning something here. What is this shift in this change to go from aimlessly drifting, being undecided about a relationship or love or having a fear of change? Oh, okay. Yeah, so there was great heartbreak or breakup or separation. There's a 4-1. So either family situation, marriage, a committed relationship, this person... They're alone, maybe depressed, they feel a loss. Um, don't want to have this loneliness feeling, don't want to be on their own. And, and you know, there's definitely something here with the, the Valentine's week. Like, I feel, you know, Valentine's Day can be difficult for some people, not everybody. Some people are like, man, you know, wish I had a special someone. Um, to celebrate with or just to go out and have drinks or you know whichever go on a date or just to feel I know for some of you it's like so super hyped and for others deep down it's like okay yeah it is super hyped but it is nice to have that feeling of appreciation and love and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that and I feel like there's somebody here who perhaps this week is feeling that loss or that that loneliness and so it's coming from a place of because of being avoidant and fearing intimacy or loss or just aimless like I said aimlessly drifting and not really having a purpose when you know when it comes to romance and love or just having a special person I think somebody here is kind of like hmm this is hitting me this is hitting me this week okay so there's this okay fine if i fear getting hurt i can stay in the safe zone and i'll never have to worry about that but then i'm still you know, missing out you know still missing out so like i said this could be reversed either that's you or another person um let's see what else is going on so yeah okay so there's definitely an offer coming in um 
this is the Knight of Pentacles, so it's kind of slow. It's a slow offer. It's not... So what do I mean by that? I mean, it's, it's not slow in the sense of like, it's a week too late. It's more in the sense of like, it's firm. It's solid. It's a steady, solid offer. Okay. But it's someone who's not really rushing in and grabbing and not someone who is not taking any, making any moves at all towards you this week. It's, it's really like, it feels secure, conservative <laughs> to some degree. It's a, like responsible kind of an offer. Okay. <clears throat> There might be some disharmony or a sense of misalignment between you and another person and I feel like the intention is to come into alignment. I feel like this person um, is making like this personal change within themselves. They have unfinished business, right? I feel like it's overall like this person, now does Virgo know this person? You may. I'm not, there's no aces here, so I'm not picking up that if it's somebody new, you might already be dealing with this person. Um, let's see. Yeah, they're, like, I, it gives me a sense of, like, part of their misalignment or the disharmony or just not being in, in cahoots in a relationship is because they're very resistant to change. Um, yeah, this person is like, oh, how can I say it? They, they kind of like, they're coming forward and that's part of the slowness, but they're, I don't know, they're obstinate or a bit stubborn, resistance, resistant to change, but at the same time, nothing gets somebody motivated more when it comes to relationships than that sense of loneliness or feeling like they need, every human needs to have that connection, right? So, all right, so tell Virgo, like, does Virgo know this person? Okay, so some of you might. King of Swords. Um, air energy. Now, this could be someone, it could be a Taurus or a Gemini or on the cusp. But this is definitely someone who is very disciplined, honest, um, authoritative. You know, this is someone a little cold. They have like kind of like, like head first, heart later. Head first. They're very logical, you know. Um, doesn't mean they don't have any feelings, but I feel like they're more like they reason things out they, rather than letting their emotional uh, reasoning kick in. Okay. So if you know them, that's the description of them. Uh, let's see. I feel like this person likes to be in solitude. They prefer silence. They prefer to relax most of the time. They prefer rest. Oh, I dropped a card. And all the while, they spend a lot of time while they're resting or in their passive moments or their, re their R and R time um, watching you. But also, I feel like this person has an element about them, or at least has always had an element about them where they were all talk and no action okay um and but and if they did take any action it was very like unstable it was very like aggressive you know or just a crazy kind of an energy with this person but i don't know i kind of wonder virgo like I, I feel like this person is healing from all of that like they're making changes like i said they're definitely making changes. There's a lot of insecurity behind this person's energy. And, and, and they might be one of those avoidant types when it comes to love, you know? Um, or may have always been that way. And it looks like they're making that change now. Like they're, because they don't want to be alone. Okay? Um, they Now tell me, Virgo, like why Virgo? Why are they coming towards Virgo? Like what is it about Virgo? That this person is choosing to connect with. Oh, wow. Two of Cups. Yeah, so <laughs> there's a mutual. This person is very attracted to you. They feel a connection to you. Even perhaps friendship. There's a duality, a sense of a settling energy. 
it almost feels like it's it's a good feeling there's balance and love this person loves you okay it looks like you must know them here's the six of cups for some of you there's a familiarity if you don't know them and you meet them you will pick up that like have we known each other before there's something familiar between the two of you i can't really pinpoint it, it could be many different things you might have memories with this person um this there might be some nostalgia that you share together you know uh <laughs> I feel like this person has love for you like they, they they there's some kind of i'm feeling like a kinship almost it's, see this is the six of cups is a soulmate card six of cups is a soulmate card for some of you this could be a cancer or a scorpio okay let me see So like I said, um, it's two stories, not two stories, but it's two significators because I feel like some of you don't know this person and this is a new love card. And so it could be somebody new coming in. And I'm just explaining to you about them. If you already know them, it's still the same energy about them, but there's a, a reconciliation, kindness, sincerity, uh, making happy memories or, or sharing past memories with this person. Okay, somebody's birthday could be on the 6th also. Oh, wow. Queen of Swords. Okay, so now we're sitting here. That's you, Virgo. Um, you could be on the cusp of Virgo and Libra. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Hmm. You've got direct communication. This person is aware and they know exactly what you want or will be aware. Or you'll definitely be making them aware this week of exactly what it is that you want from them, what you expect, how you perceive things. You'll be very clear-minded. I feel like either they're going to know when they connect with you exactly what you're... Because like the, the Queen of Swords energy is very direct. She's just like, sword out, here's the deal. So she's very direct. She doesn't mess around, okay? There's crystal clear there's nothing there's no blurred lines with the queen of swords she cuts them away if there are she likes think she's very sharp so they either think that about you that you're very sharp you have unbiased judgment you're independent you're clear direct and very perceptive or they will find this out about you okay and what are you being clear about with this person virgo Okay, you have the death card. Huh. Wow. Virgo, looks like you're going to either ask somebody to come clean um, or say something about, I don't want any secrets and BS. Okay? Yeah, and they know this or they will find this out. Okay? Because you will end something here. Wow. You're being pretty, like, ain't got no time to play. We ain't getting any younger here. So you've got the death card as well. So we could have Aquarius, could be Scorpio energy. Um, yeah, Virgo, I kind of feel like that seven of swords in the reverse makes me feel like your energy is like, if you already know this person, you're, I don't know if you're going to communicate to this person or say anything to them about um, they need to come clean. I don't feel like it's that. I feel like you're you're open and receptive because I feel like they are going to come clean with you. So if you already have a relationship with this person, okay, and they've been avoiding you for however long or they've been dismissive or just emotionally avoidant and now they're making some kind of shift and change to come towards you because they just don't want to be alone. I also feel like they know that you're going to expect them to be open and honest and like whatever deception that they've kept or their secrets or um, it, whatever they've been deceiving themselves about, they need that that conversation needs to be had and there needs to be transformation and change. Okay. And they know that and they know you're expecting that from them. And I feel like they're going to do that. Okay. They're going to talk to you and have that conversation or have those conversations here. So, um,
Virgo, I feel like this person could be a Taurus. They've got this long-term view. How to make sustainable, how to have sustainable results with you. And they know that that's what you, what you want. And I feel like they're going to put in the effort. I do feel like this is someone who's going to kind of be like... I guess it's like... Okay, what do, what do I... I got to tell Virgo about the secrets. I got to tell Virgo about these... I got to come clean. I got to be honest. I got to be open. How do I do this? You know what I mean? I feel like this person... It's just because you're sitting in that Queen of Swords energy, masculine or feminine. It just sits there like you are just... Like I keep saying just, excuse me. You are not having... You're not giving anything away. You're not investing in anything. And they know that. They know that you have this long-term view for a relationship. Or they'll find this out this week. You know, they know that you um, are interested only in investing in this relationship. If it's going to produce um, something positive. for not, not only for you, but for the benefit of the relationship anyway. And I feel like if you have that conversation with them. Or you just kind of state that that's what you're looking for. I feel like they're going to really take a look at their stockpile and see what they have to offer. See what they can really offer long term. Like they'll really take a look at it. Hmm. This person I feel like does a lot of thinking. But you do too, Virgo. You know? Wow, you've got judgment. Pluto energy. Twenty reduces to two, and two is about balancing pro polarities. So you and this person are opposites attract, definitely. You're very opposite each other. There's, you know, but there's a familiarity that attracts you to each other, which, you know, we've got the two here, the two of cups. I feel like this person, they're aware 100% that, that there's some type of, I don't know if it's an obstacle as much as it's just opposites and I feel like this person is having this like I, I guess you could say it's like an awakening that going through this new phase here want uh, having this desire for reconciliation and focus on the things that you guys do have in common so there is going to be some type of start or initiation to a romantic relationship this week and wow you got the tower that's Mars energy. Mars and Pluto here. So with Scorpio card could be a Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. We have the 16, which reduces to 7, which is about change and options here. Okay? Sudden insight, release, revelation. Everything breaking down so that there can be a new rebuilding or something, um, you know, Sometimes it's not the house that's damaged, it's the foundation. Sometimes you got to take the whole house down so you can, you know, fix the foundation. And that's what I feel like is going to happen here. It feels more like an out with the old. Somebody's ego is being broken. There's a, there's a definitely an ego thing being like, get off your high horse kind of energy, get over yourself. A humbling energy. And, you know, when you have, like, crazy disasters and things like that, and I'm not predicting a disaster, but when you have something like that happen in your life, it tends to humble you, and that's what comes after this. So there's a true humbling energy happening here. Yeah, so I feel like this person feels, I mean, like I said, you're getting a love call. It's a risk. Somebody's taking a risk here to tell you how they feel about you. And even with coffee cup, you know, connecting meeting feeling uplifted and talking so there's a conversation here let me see so just one more card i'm not going to ask anything specific but just one more just one more card oh you got to be kidding there you go the knight of cups i guess i didn't need to ask yeah there's definitely a love offer a romantic element this week charm imagination beauty your uh, quote-unquote knight in shining armor someone's following their heart prince charming kind of energy proposal 
a love proposal, possibly engagement, marriage, um, or, you know, kind of, what's the word I want to say? Like, uh, defining of a relationship this week for sure. Let's try to see if I can, for some of you, what actual day this week, because we do have February 12th, uh, through the 18th. So hold on one second. February 12th through the 18th. And what day is this offer coming in for Virgo? Oh, there you go. The 14th. So it's definitely Valentine's Day. Now it may not be for all of you, so don't get uh, upset if you don't get something on that day. It could be the day after or before, but for the majority of you, this is going to occur on the 14th. So it's definitely a Valentine's Day kind of thing. That's so cute. It really is. It's super, super cute. All right, let's get a couple more messages and see what else is showing up here for you. Oh, I feel inclined to pull from my Cosmic Insight deck. What else does Virgo need to know? Yeah, you guys, the last video I uploaded for the weekend, I did it in slow motion. Like, I slowed down the 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 speed of the audio because it was, um, and the video because it was just super uh, short. And I didn't want you guys to, like, suffer. <laughs> oh, there's pregnancy here. Also, someone could be expecting, okay? Um, it doesn't have to be you. It could be someone that you find out about this this week, um, a pregnancy. Maybe it's it could be you. So hey, be careful if you're getting romantic on on uh, during this week. Okay, so let's see what else do you have. Some good energy for Virgo. Give okay, Virgo some good energy. Okay, vacation or a vacation occurring you may be traveling very soon this week could be with an earth sign taurus virgo or capricorn and you've got commitment coming in things are getting serious okay very nice very very nice um yeah let's get into the chinese signs and see if we can figure out who this might be who's coming towards you and also, you know, I put all my, I put my cards away and, um, oh, are you kidding? You've got soulmate here. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. So there's a soulmate connection here. Like I said, now that's twice. Very nice, Virgo. Very nice. Someone's taking a leap of faith. That's what I said. There's a risk being taken got marriage here Virgo so for some of you this is a either it's a proposal that's going to lead to marriage or some type of a sacred union so it's very beautiful with a soulmate some of you are just somebody's popping the question they may not be getting down on their knee but there's definitely going to be popping a question to define the relationship so there could be a proposal of marriage it could be just you know I don't want to date anymore let's make it serious let's become exclusive that kind of thing or if you just meet them someone's like yeah I'm looking to date are you interested do you want to see me again um, that kind of thing all right you've also got signs so your future positive direction will reveal itself any doubts and confusion will soon disappear and that's just a message of trust you've got major life change here this time is right for major life changes as a new lifestyle or location brings great joy and a trouble-free existence. Ma massive, awesome energy and you have communication. A reunion could bring love or a rekindling of a friendship or friendships. A lucky win seems likely. Okay, very nice, Virgo. All right, let's get into the Chinese signs. Now we just started the the uh, Lunar New Year, which I believe we are in the year of the, was it rabbit? I think it's rabbit. And that's what we're starting off with. We've got year of the rabbit, year of the pig. 
This could be you or your person or neither. Don't worry. It doesn't mean it's not your message. Year of the dragon, year of the rat, year of the dog, year of the tiger, year of the goat, and year of the ox. Okay. So that could be, like I said, you or your person. Take it as it resonates. All right. So don't forget, February 14th, a very profound and special day. Let's see, get some numbers and initials. Okay, we have August 28th, someone's name, initial C. Someone's birthday is in March. We have 1989. We also have the letter L. <coughs> Got the letter K. 1968. Someone is 36. Okay, we've got Gemini showing up here. September 19th, 1966. Someone's born in December, 1974. Someone is 52. We've got the letter I. Okay, I'm just going to say it because it spelled it out the first thing I saw. Lick. <laughs> I'm not saying anything else. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm not like uh, you if you're if you're just not listening to this but you're watching you can make it you can figure that all out yourself i am not putting those two words together <laughs> either somebody wants to do that or wants that done or that's just who they are okay you are definitely one of them people <laughs> not you virgo well maybe you are i don't know I'm, i don't care we're done with that okay i'm getting all rated r on this channel Okay, I heard the name Dirk. Someone's a doctor. Letter H, letter W, R, letter D. We have a J. We have Jack, Jade. Uh, someone's getting some jaw surgery. Hmm. Uh, someone's 46. Okay. Someone needs to call AAA. Okay. Someone's a jock, like an athlete. Jock. Um. Someone needs to get their hot water heater fixed. Just hearing that. Um, now they're saying HDR. Something to do with HDR. Just heard charity. And uh, someone's into rock music. Really likes rock music. I mean, that could be anybody, right? Um, the person who likes rock music, like serious metal, heavy metal or rock, um, their initial in their name um, is E, like Edward, Eduardo, August 31st, someone's 42, and also the letter T. Okay, someone is uh, Jewish or from Israel or family. And we also have age 57. Okay, September 12th. Important, we have Scorpio and Cancer. I said that already, remember? Okay, another September birthday, the 6th and the 1st. All right, let's get a charm. Oh, I just saw 2 3, so you could be September 23rd or August 23rd. They said two more. Okay, someone practices the um, okay, or someone's name is Mo. Or M.O. All right, what do you have for your charms, Virgo? Oh my God, you're kidding. Hold on, let me get your, let me get like this, you can't make this up, Virgo. Happy Valentine's Day. There's your rose, a rose, a kiss from a rose. Some of you are getting one single rose or something to do. This turned into a Valentine's Day reading and it wasn't supposed to. It was just, a, it's still a weekly reading. But it's got the love theme. I'm going to make a really cool thumbnail for this. <laughs> but it's totally, yeah, that's what's going on. Um, okay, I'm going to leave that right there. Somebody loves you, Virgo, or is falling or will be falling in love with you this week. All right, I hope you enjoy that. Good luck. Leave comments. Let me know how it goes or what changes or anything fantastic and sweet and romantic happens for you this week. Or if you initiate that with someone definitely leave a comment let me know and um yeah i just want to say real quick thank you to the newest members that we have here on the channel 
Um, I'm really appreciative of you guys because I know I've been talking about joining my channel like nonstop. All right, thank you to Cassie Stanislaus for joining, becoming a member. Frida Sprinkles, welcome. And Kim N, welcome. I'm truly grateful. Thank you for becoming a member of my channel. If I didn't call your name, just leave a comment there. Um, these are the new members, so I'm calling out new members every day. So yeah, thank you for your super chats in the comments and in the chat. Let's give a big shout out to the mods. Super awesome. Thank them. They work really hard. They're here every single, every single session, every episode. So all right, you guys have a fantastic week and I will see you all back here tomorrow. Bye. Take care. Oh, and happy Valentine's Day. Bye. Hey, you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.